Hi, welcome to the ghost town of Ballarat, California. Out in the Mojave Desert. And we're going to do a tour of this town. Established in 1897. Here's our monument. Here's a town. Right down here. So to get into town from Route 190 up here, you'll uh, take this dirt bridge over the salt marsh and heads up to the town. As we walk into town, I'll tell you the story about the ghost town of Ballarat. So Ballarat sits on an elevation of 1,079 feet above sea level in the Mojave Desert of the Panamint Valley. It was founded in 1896, maybe 1897, as a supply point for miners and prospectors from the local canyons to purchase their supplies and come for a little relaxation and entertainment. It was a great town for water and whiskey. And here's where they filmed the opening scene of the 1969 movie, Easy Rider, starring Peter Fonda. Ballarat was named by an Australian immigrant, George Riggins, after the Australian gold town of the same name, Ballarat, Victoria. From 1897 to 1905, Ballarat had between 400 and 500 residents. The town hosted seven saloons, three hotels, a Wells Fargo station, post office, school, jail, and a morgue. But a lot of these gold towns there were no churches. So Ballarat began to decline when the nearby Ratcliffe Mine in Pleasant Canyon closed. Then other mines shut down, and in 1917, the post office was closed. There were no more children in the schools. So after 1917, the only people who remained here were a few diehard prospectors and desert rats. Now upon entering town, you come across this little monument here. Kind of tells you a little bit about Ballarat. And it was born in 1897, following the discovery of the Radcliffe Mine in Pleasant Canyon. Its namesake was for the famous gold city in Victoria, Australia. It was never a very large town. It served Panamint Valley and Death Valley as a miner's supply and recreation center. And Ballarat's colorful life ebbed with the closing of the post office in 1917. Today, there are a few campgrounds, the old graveyard, ruins of some buildings, and a general store. The general store is run by Bowrat's only one full-time resident, Rocky Novak, and his dog, Pot Liquor. And he takes care of the local water pipes in the town he runs the general store to sell goods to the tourists. We have lots of artifacts from the old days. Machinery, car parts, cans, stove pots, cooking apparatus, old machines, gears, shafts, everything here to support the town when it's thriving back in its heyday. It's a little well cap. So the first group of people to come by this place were the Illinois Jayhawkers, including the Briar Party 
was a group of prospectors traveling from Salt Lake City to the Sierra Nevada gold fields. They left Salt Lake around October 1849, and since it was too late in the season to cross over the Sierra Nevadas directly, like the ill-fated Donner Party we all know about, they headed south along the old Spanish Trail, then took a shortcut across the desert through Death Valley, only to get stranded to the point of starvation and eventually death. But eventually, they made it out of Death Valley and they passed through this future town of Ballarat in January of 1850. Here's the Ballarat Jail and Morgue, 1898. Let's take a look inside. Bed here, table, looks like the doctor's office. And a bed here. A couple chairs. And some old artifacts here. Some sort of scale in a decanter. more items on the wall and key. Here's the grave site of Dusty Dan, 1897 to 1948. Survived by three wives, 15 offspring, two burrows, and one dog. Looks like an old separation machine. And you pump the water through here with the soil or the dirt, and it rotates around to kind of disturb it all. It goes up in this conveyor here as it shakes and sifts through the dirt to separate all the ore or the gold and the silver. And don't get your hand stuck in here. It'll rip right off. And then it goes down here. Looks like this is like a little mill to crush the rock. Heads down a little more as it separates. And then it comes out. And then you have a bunch of gold or silver, some other ore. Here's another device. So the soil and the dirt would come down here with the rocks. It's like a shaking table here, or a separation table. You fill with water, fills in this little trough, comes out here to the little basin. And this is where you get all your gold from these hills out here, from the Ratcliffe Mine. Looks like this structure is a little animal shelter, animal coop. Maybe for your chickens. Got wire across. Maybe for your burrows. A little broken down a little shelter here. And inside, 
Who knows? Could be a little stove for all I know. All right. Panamint Valley out here is really just a big salt marsh. As you can see here, with our salt bushes. We have remnants of old machinery from days gone by. You hear the tracks from the burrows. They still keep up here. Here's an old piece of machinery. Maybe from the mining material. It might even be from an old car. You got some over here too. Got our burrow tracks in the ground. Maybe something out here. It's like an old stovepipe. Some old metal debris here. And check this out. We got a beer bottle. Maybe from the old hippie days. Looks like a, a light from a car or a vehicle. We got broken beer bottles, wine bottles. A little more scrap metal here. And we've got a tire. So remnants of a former little party site here. That is Ballarat. And up here on our right, this is Pleasant Canyon Road. It takes you six miles back up to the Ratcliffe Mine. So you can walk it, or if you've got a four-wheel drive, I bet you can drive it. So let's check out the cemetery here. And like any good ghost town cemetery, this one's called Boot Hill Cemetery. A lot of the original residents of Ballarat are here. Pretty good one. This is seldom seen. There are a few more recent factoids about this place. A scene from 1969 movie Easy Rider, starring Peter Fonda, was filmed here. And the movie Obsolidia in 2010, now that won two awards at the Sundance Film Festival. The town was also featured in novels Hellbound for Ballarat in 1970 and Bounty Hunt at Ballarat 1973. In 1971, there was a big hippie celebration here where 200 of the hippies contracted hepatitis from contaminated drinking water. And today, it's a popular staging point for off-road vehicles headed out to Panamint or Death Valley. And here we'll take one last look at Seldom Seen Slim. This great town of Ballarat, California. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching. Bye. Only resident of Ballarat in 1917. He died at the ripe old age of 80. Be lonely? Hell no.
I'm half coyote and half wild burrow. Seldom seen swim. Let's see whatever else we have here. We've got an unmarked grave. Real interesting. No telling how old these uh, graves are. This one here. This is uh, John. He was two weeks. Or John Zink. That's it. John Zink. This is the zinc plot here. I'm sure. We'll get a few more unmarked graves here. Oh, here's a good one. This is uh, I don't know, McGillery. Can't read the date, but it looks pretty new. So uh, maybe the 2000s. Tell. This guy here is Benjamin Smith Bennett from 1876 to 1937. So he must have been one of the original residents of the town as well. There's another new one here. Neil Cummins Jr., 1945. 1988. He knows no boundaries in God's hands. So we got another uh, unmarked grave here. A couple of headstones. Let's take a look. Here lies Missy, September 1984. Just a little dog who for his years enriched our lives with her love and devotion. Sleep in peace, little friend. So this is Missy, our little dog. This is Roxy, another one of our pets. Rest in paradise, Roxy. You left paw prints in our hearts, 2001 to 2012. Here we got an unmarked uh, pet. It was called a pet. There's a grave. Not sure who's here. Another one here. Oh. Well, that's our Boot Hill Cemetery of Ballarat. How about that? Bet you're dying to get in here. I wouldn't take that lane down.